Welcome back, everyone. I feel like I failed you last time when I was trying to show you all the features inside of my Roseville 117 Nighthawk case. Here it is again, and it's all messy glory until we can actually get a uh, motherboard in there and, you know, do some cable management. But we'll start down here with the lower fan. And actually, we were going to turn this ratio over so it's better viewing on widescreen. Like I said, this case started life out way up here on the back of the fan, uh, on the back of the case here as an exhaust. Uh, as I mentioned previously, my H60 cooler fan is going to, uh, and radiator will mount here as an intake. So I'm taking cool air from the outside, blowing it through the radiator, thereby cooling the air and water that will eventually run back to my CPU. That will be about here-ish. When the motherboard gets here. Okay, sorry about the finger. I'm just giving you all the finger today. Here are the various cables that you uh, were really unable to see well. Uh, we've got our Molex connectors. Our three pin fan connectors. Those are my colored red, green, blue case fans. I didn't happen to mention the total number of case fans this comes with, which is a beefy five case fans. And here's that view of the top that you guys weren't able to get beforehand. See those two mounted up there? They're beautiful. I can't really say how loud they run right now. It looks like they are 12 volt DC, 240 amp. That can't be right. Oh, 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 and my voice just went blah, 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 blah. 0.24 amps. Okay, that makes more a lot more sense. Uh, doesn't really. Oh, yep, 1200 RPM max. So they seem to be uh, low RPM, maybe high high flow rate, which is good. We just need airflow. Uh, another feature I wanted to kind of show off here is I don't need all these drive bays. So if I want room in my case just to make it look better, make it look all pretty, I can do this with those handy dandy thumb screws. I can remove the whole bank. And you know, I can, that'll make for easier hard drive mounting later. And you can see we've got the easy trays for standard size hard drive mounting and your SSD hard drives will generally mount right here. Those are very, very nice. I've got room for up to eight bays, I believe. Yeah, there's three more down there, and this can also be removed. I'd probably have to remove it off the front of the case first, over there. Do I have something in here as well? It almost looks like I do. Let's check her. Oh, no, that is just robust design. So here's the other case fans in the front that you weren't able to see last time. Looks like they're basically the same fan, except with some LEDs. I would love to see how those look, because I do have kind of an overall blue theme going on and uh, I may spend a little extra money maybe get some LED strips in this case um, kind of going for bling eventually if I can but I did want to get you guys a good shot of that fan controller where the hard drive this right here is where that external hard drive can plug right in and all this is the cable front panel wiring switches USB ports all that other good junk it's going to be a lot to uh, hook up, but luckily, um, <clears throat> when it arrives, I have bought the Asus X370 Pro, and that should provide me plenty of connections. We've gone over all of our goodie bags. That drive screws. I'm still kind of curious about what this thumb screws screws for. Oh, that might be for screwing on the post right here. Helping to drive those in, setting my uh, motherboard posts. And I won't be able to set those until I get my board in and know exactly where I'm, where well, where, where to fit them. Looks like there's preset slots numbered. And like I mentioned before, these are where that, uh, where I've already mentioned up, the, hooked up to the fan controller. Anyway, my power supply will go down here. All of my peripherals like my Wi-Fi card is going to stick out of here. Obviously my graphics card is going to stick out of one of these Mamma Jammas. And I did not give you guys a nice view of the back last time either. And so this, I, I just kind of wanted to make this a slight follow. Hello mascot. He's in the background there being all fat. Say hello. 
Yeah. As you can see, the back is designed very nice. And here's your... Ah, I'm sorry. Here will be your input-output plate. This is where, um... All the mother... Uh, all of the USB ports on your, um... Motherboard, your, uh... Mouse hookups. All of those will end... When the motherboard will come with a back plate to fill this in, and it should fit and look snug nicely. I'm still unclear what these grommets do. This one's a little out of whack. I don't know. Oh, I think they're running for, I think they're for custom cooling loops. I think you rube the tubing out, run the tubing back in. If you had a large water-cooled radiator up here, where it would, maybe if you had the side ports here, you run one out, run back in for an input-output. Possibly, I don't know. Anybody have a thoughts on that? P please feel free to leave some comments and like and subscribe, please. Uh, I am nothing more than excited, and unfortunately, I do not have a shipping confirmation on the motherboard, as I guess my pre-order got screwed up by Amazon. So I, I'm missing the, my one master component. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.